Good evening, sir. Today, we group B07 is going to present a presentation on e-payment mechanism. Our group consists of the following members, myself, Vipassana Pal, Surat Suman, Shrita Roy, and Shagnik Shankar Singh. So, we will be discussing these things in our presentation. That is the introduction to e-payment, benefits of e-payment, types of e-payment systems, e-payment threats and protection, confusion, and finally some MCP. So, now let us see what is e-payment. To put it simply, an e-payment or electronic payment system allows customers to pay for the services via electronic methods. E-payment system is a way of making transactions or paying for goods and services through an electronic medium without the use of physical check or cash. As the world is advancing more towards the technology development, a lot of electronic payment systems and payment processing devices have been developed to increase, improve and provide secure e-payment transactions while decreasing the percentage of the physical check and uh, cash transaction. So, there are many benefits of using e-payment systems. Some of the benefits are that it is more effective and it has efficient transactions because uh, these are made just in minutes even with one click without wasting the customer's time. It also lowers the whole transaction cost. There is low risk of theft. It is transparent. It is used to reach to a larger audience. It reduces the carbon footprint. It generates a greater revenue and overall provides a better user experience. Now, I'd like to pass on to my next member for the next slides. Hello, sir. Uh, good evening. My name is Suraj and my roll number is 8035. So, uh, I'm going to talk about the types of uh, e-payment system. So, uh, e-commerce sites are usually electronic payment uh, where electronic payment refers to the paperless monetary transaction. So, there are various uh, modes of electronic payments like credit card, debit card, smart card, etc. So, uh, first of all, we will uh, talk about credit card. Uh, so, yes. so, payment using a uh, credit card is one of the most common mode of electronic payment. Credit card is a small plastic card with a unique number attached with an account. It has also a magnetic strip embedded in it, which is uh, used to read credit card via card readers. Where a customer purchases a product via credit card, credit card uh, issues bank pays on a behalf of customer, and customer has a certain time period after which he or she can pay the credit card bill. It usually a uh, credit card. It is usually credit card monthly payment cycle. So uh, there are various steps of uh, credit card payment process. So first step is uh, banking issues uh, and activates a credit card to the customer or uh, on his or her request. The second step is the customer presents the credit card information to the merchant site or the merchant from which he wants to purchase uh, something. Uh, the step three is the merchant uh, validates the customer identity by asking for approval from the uh, card brand company. The step 4 includes card, uh, card brand company authenticates the card, credit card and pays the transaction by credit. Merchants keep the sales slip. The next step includes merchants submit the sales slip to the uh, acquirer bank and get the service charge paid to him or her. Acquirer bank requests the card brand company to clear the credit amount and gets the payment. Now the card brand company is asked to clear the amount from the issuer bank and the amount is transacted, uh, transferred to the card brand company. So these are the processes through which a payment to credit card follows. Next slide please. In next slide we are going to talk about debit card system. Debit card like credit card is a small plastic card with a unique number mapped with a bank account number. It is, uh, it is required to have a bank account before getting a debit card from a bank. The major difference between the debit card and the credit card is that uh, in case of payment to debit card, the amount gets deducted from the card, uh, card's bank account immediately and there should be sufficient balance, uh, balance in the bank account for the transaction to get completed. Whereas, in the case of credit card transaction, there is no such compulsion. Debit card free, uh, free, free the customer to carry cash and uh, checks. Even merchants accept a debit card uh, readily. Having a restriction on the amount that can be withdrawn in a day using debit card helps the customer to keep a check in uh, on his or her spending. So, uh, these are the process. Uh, first, the cardholder uses his uh, card for payment and the request goes uh, to the bank through the debit card network. Then the bank uh, 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 
confirms it and bank checks for the account balance and proceeds the request and uh, so finally the customer receives the payment so that's all for me uh, i will request my friend to continue next thank you good evening all i am srijita roy roll number 8040 now let us see another method of payment through card system that is smart card smart card is similar to credit or debit card in appearance but it has a small microprocessor chip embedded in it and it has, a, has the capacity to store a customer's work related or any personal information smart cards are also used to store money and the amount gets deducted after every transaction these cards can only be accessed using a pin which is very secure and smart cards are secure as they store information in encrypted format and are less expensive Mondo's and Visa card, Visa Cash cards are example of smart cards. Next slide, please. Now, here is another payment method that is e-check. E-check is short form for an electronic check. It is a method of payment between two parties that mimics a check only when it is digital. Normally, an e-check is processed as a payment request that the sender makes to their bank. they include the payment amount and account details for the recipient they then authorize the payment via an e signature there are some advantage of electronic check that is they do not require consumers to reveal account information to their individuals when setting an auction they do not require consumers to continually send sensitive financial information over the web system these are less expensive than credit cards they are much faster than paper based traditional checks about working of an e cash so it involves at least three parties issuer not necessary financial instructions consumers as the end user who use the e cash and merchant who accept the e cash in exchange with products or services that is being provided first the consumer needs to open an account with the bank merchant who wants to participate in the e cash transaction need to have accounts with various banks in order to support consumers transaction who might use any bank when consumer decides to purchase he or she transfer the e cash from their bank account to the electronic purse that is the online system or e cash token which is offline system the e cash can then be transferred to the merchant in exchange with the merchant's pro- products or service the e cash payment can be in term of soft copy that is via software or it can be token based transactions via internet are non- normally encrypted the last step is upon receiving e payment e cash payment from the consumer merchant will get confirmation from the bank the bank will then authenticate the e cash transaction at the same time the bank will debit consumer's account based on the agreed amount the merchant will then deliver the products or services and instructs the bank to deposit the agreed amount to the merchant's bank account this is the diagram that depicts how the e cash payment system works there are a few advantages of the e cash system that is it is more secure and it is being encrypted there is more privacy it is portable it is transferable and it has divisibility now my friend sagni will proceed further good evening sir uh, up till now we had been knowing about the mode in which e payment can be processed and now upon coming to this slide anything which goes through an online mode also carries the risk of any different types of threats so the top threats of this e-commerce business are transaction frauds direct site attacks password as assaults brute force attacks malware social engineering bots and also phishing and spamming so like in case of phishing and spamming in most cases there are emails sent directly from unknown authorities to us from which these types of attacks occur there are also malware and also okay. the password assault where our passwords are being are getting hacked and then they are they are using it for various kinds of e traffic e transaction and also there are direct site attacks where when we visit any site and there we come across many links or other things which upon clicking which we lose some of our personal sharing and the, and the, and therefore 
are prone to these at types of attacks on to the next slide please and now the best e-commerce practices for the protection from any of this aforementioned threats are PCI compliance, sell security plugins, backup data, payment gateway security, antivirus software, firewall, CDN, etc. So as we all are very much familiar with the firewalls where if we apply firewall to our computers and other devices to protect it from different types of malwares and other types of viruses coming into them and also antivirus software, some specific antivirus software which are being included. We may keep the backup data in case if our data is being hacked and if anything is malfunction with it, we always will be having one backup of it. And also the payment gateway securities. On to the next slide please. And finally, concluding with, India's digital payment market has witnessed dynamic growth in the recent times. In the past COVID era, it has seen an emerging technologies helping in dynamic growth. From figures also, we can tell that up around four or five years back, India's mode of payment through cash were around 80% and that has drastically reduced to some at least 10 to 15 or more even more than that which is a huge figure india has found itself at the center of digital payment innovation driven by e-commerce consumer behavior progressive government approaches and the global pandemic too safety worries and travel restrictions mean that online transactions have increased dramatically as we had been seeing through the past two years uh, thank you sir this was all and now we will be we will be presenting our MCQs one by one. So now we'll be discussing the MCQs. Uh, the first MCQ question is: An electronic check is one form of what? So we have four options: that is e-commerce, online banking, e-cash, and check. So the correct answer to this question is option B. An electronic check is one form of online banking. An e-check or electronic check is a form of payment made via the internet and is designed to perform the same function as any conventional paper check. Since the check is in an electronic format, it can be processed in fewer steps. The costs associated with issuing an electronic check are notably lower and has more security features than a standard paper check. Now I would like to pass on to the next member for the next MCQ. Yes, uh, so uh, my MCQ is second number. Yes, yes. so uh, the question is next one, next one. Yes, so the question is credit card uh, are a convenient substitute for which of the following? So the correct answer is option A cash. So uh, the reason behind is, uh, is that uh, because the cash, the credit card are most convenient and secure substitute of cash. To use a check, money needs to be presented uh, in the bank account. Similarly, for a debit card, money needs to be present in the bank account. So a credit card is a good substitute for in case people urgently need to complete a monetary transaction and uh, they do not have money in their account. We use a credit card. Uh, when we use a credit card, the bank pays us the money to complete the transaction. Then in a given period of time, we need to repay the money with a little bit of interest. So uh, we can conclude that credit card are use useful in case uh, when we don't have cash ready yet. So next, next one will be discussed by my friend. The third MCQ is a debit card holder makes payment for purchases. There are four options after 15 days, after a month, after 21 days and the fourth option is immediately through his account. The last option is the correct one that is immediately through his account. A debit card holder makes payment for purchasing immediately through his account. A debit card is a plastic 
payment card that can be used in place of cash to make purchases. It is similar to credit card but unlike a credit card, the money for the purchase must be in the card holder's bank account at the time of the purchase and is immediately transferred directly from the account to the merchant's account to pay for the purchase. Next, Sarnik will tell the last MCQ. So the last MCQ is in electronic cash payment. A. A debit card payment system is used. B. A customer buys several electronic coins which are digitally signed by point, point issuing bank. C. A credit card payment system is used. D. RSA cryptography is used in the transaction. So the correct option here is option B that is a customer buys several electronic coins which are digitally signed by point issuing bank. In e-cash e e payment, a customer buys several electronic coins that are signed by the point issuing bank. Consumers will download their electronic money from the bank and then that would be stored on their hard drive. Then when a customer makes an online purchase, they use a digital wallet to transfer funds to the merchant. The merchant is the same exact digital wallet software in order to receive these funds and in this system, electronic cash payment works. Thank you sir, that's all we have. Thank you very much. Okay, very good presentation.